Hi mom friends, welcome back to my channel, Home and Arrows. My name is Shirley and I'm a homeschooling mom of five kids that I like to call my arrows. And every week I just love pulling up to my kitchen table and having chats with you all about all things pertaining to mom life. I am so passionate about encouraging moms to cheerfully and joyfully embrace the short season of time that they have their arrows at home with them. And today, I am really looking forward to sharing with you the five habits of a happy mom. These are just things that I found for me personally, help make me a better version of myself and therefore they help make me a better mom. So stick around because I'm really looking forward to sharing these five things with you today. Jumping right in. Number one, the very first habit of a happy mom is that she has her identity in Christ. As a Christian mom, for me, this is probably the top thing. The Bible says that the wise man, and I like to say woman, built his house upon the rock, and that rock is symbolic of Christ Jesus. To build our lives on anything else, including motherhood, including being a wife, including um, maybe a role that you have at church or a role that you have in the community. If you build your life completely around anything other than Christ, like the Bible says, it's a foolish thing to do. And eventually we are bound to experience a great fall like the foolish man who built his house on the sand. It is personally so important for me to know who I am and to know whose I am, because there are many times where society and culture will try to define who I am or how I should think or how I should look for me. But when I am confident and I know who I am in Christ, any lies that I may even tell myself or that society or culture want to tell me, I'm able to combat them with God's word. When I feel overwhelmed as a child of God, I can say, no, I'm not doing this life alone. The Bible says when my heart is overwhelmed within me, I can run to the rock that is higher than I. I don't have to be overwhelmed and feel like I am responsible for everything because I know that I have Christ as my rock and my foundation. When I'm feeling lonely, I know that's not the truth because the Bible says that there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. When I'm feeling like maybe I'm just not good enough, God's word tells me that he has given me the power that I need, everything I need to live a godly life. And I also know that his word says that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. When I feel tired and exhausted, I know that the truth is that his grace is sufficient for me and that his power is made perfect in my weakness. So having my identity be in Christ first and foremost gives me the strength and the power that I need to walk out this life the way that I should. And now for the second habit of a happy mom, that is having friendships and community. Listen, moms, we were not created to do this life alone. I want to encourage you, if you feel like friendships and community is something that's lacking in your life, don't wait for it to come looking for you. Be intentional to get out there and plug yourself into a group. There are so many options out there. Maybe you're like, I just don't know where to look or how to find them. With the invention of the internet, the world is at our fingertips. There are churches, there are play date groups, there are Facebook groups, there are mops groups, there are Bible studies, there are homeschool co-ops, there are a million ways for you to be able to find a way to get plugged in and create a community of friendships with other moms. I know that when all of my kids were little and babies, the church that I belong to, we had this little, um, it wasn't exactly mops, but it was like our own version of mops. And those meetings were so life-giving to me. I, I just never want to know that a mom is going through that season of newborns, babies, and littles by herself because it is a really difficult season. And having people around you that understand the demand that that puts on your life, it's like having a support group. There is, there's just nothing better than it. And those friends that I made in that season of life, even though we don't go to, just got an email. <laughs> Even though we don't go to the same church together anymore, I know those women would be there for me in a heartbeat if I needed them today, and the same would be true if they needed me. There was just something so incredibly bonding about those friendships in that season of life. And today, I'm so grateful that I have a community of friends at my church, 
And within my homeschool co-op, I know that there are women that I can reach out to at any point in time that would be there for me. So moms, I want to encourage you, make sure that you are being intentional about looking for friendships and community in your life. That is the second habit of a happy mom. And the third habit of a happy mom is that she has hobbies. She has things outside of motherhood that she enjoys doing. What is it for you? Are you an art crafty kind of person? Make time in your day for painting and sewing. Are you into travel? Look into being a travel agent. Are you into music? It's never too late for you to start lessons on an instrument that you always desire to know how to play. Maybe crafty things and artsy things and musical things aren't your thing, but are you athletic? Are you into fitness? Find time in your day or in your week to carve out to maybe join a sports club, a sports team, go to the gym. It's so important, moms, that we have an outlet in our lives outside of motherhood, something that we just enjoy doing. Maybe you feel like you have a calling in addition to your motherhood. A lot of times I've found that whatever it is we're passionate about could be a real indicator of what God's call is for our life. For me, I really enjoy talking and speaking to other people and being creative, and so doing you YouTube has been a really fun outlet for me to be able to use my creativity and to use a gift that I think maybe God has given me for speaking. So what is it that's in your heart? What is it that makes you just come alive? Figure out what that is. Maybe it's crocheting. I mean, I don't know. For all of us, it's something different. Find whatever that passion is and pursue it. And if you wanted to, you could take that hobby a step further and turn it into a way that you can use it to serve others. And if you wanted to take it a step further than that, maybe there's a way for you to turn that hobby or that passion into a way to help produce more income for your family if that's even something you need. So mamas, go out there, explore your passions, explore some hobbies, and plug into something that just brings you joy outside of motherhood. And the fourth habit of a happy mom is homes that are in order. I don't know about you, but for me, when my house feels super cluttered and there's like a lot of stuff laying around, it just makes me really stressed out. I am a much calmer and happier version of myself when my home is in order, when I look around and everything that has a place is in its place. Recently, I went through a massive decluttering overhaul in my house, it was like a month ago. I got rid of literally three trailers full of stuff from furniture to toys to clothes. Not only that, I ended up getting rid of, it was around like 20 bags worth of stuff. I went through all of my kids' rooms, I went through my kitchen, I went through our den, I went through my office, just getting rid of stuff. And I cannot describe to you, unless you've experienced it, you know the freedom that comes with having less. It is so true that less is more. And there's, I really think, something to this whole minimalism trend that's coming around. People are awakening and realizing that we just live with too much stuff. And I came to the conclusion that I did not want to spend my life bending over and picking up a million things all day long. I have much better things that I want to and need to do with my time, and so the stuff just had to go. And I have found since I've done that, that putting my home back in order, because guess what? The house still gets messy. There are still seven people living in this home, but it is not nearly as overwhelming to get it picked up. I really, really wanted to include this one, that one of the habits of a happy mom is that her home is decluttered and it's in order. So if you are looking around your house and feeling stressed out, there are many, many resources online. I know that I recently found The Minimal Mom. I think it's theminimalmom.com or she also has a YouTube channel and I think it's The Minimal Mom. Um, maybe that would be a good place for you to start. There are tons of resources online that can help get you started and motivated. And number five, the fifth habit of a happy mom is she spends time outside. What I mean by that, because really all of these things are based on things that I feel like make me a better and happier mom. For me, that looks like just going outside intentionally because I could really just get caught up in my home and all the things all day long that I need to do and accomplish just inside my home. 
I mean, there's dishes, there's laundry, there's vacuuming, there's mopping, there's bathrooms to clean. There are children to teach. And for the most part, all of those things happen inside. But I have found that there is something about the outdoors that rejuvenates me. And so the way that I make that happen practically throughout my day is when I go to have like my quiet devotional time, take my Bible, my journal, whatever little devotion I'm reading, instead of doing it inside, I'm like, I could easily do this outside as well. And I'll take those things outside and I don't know, those things combined are just so refreshing to me. There are times where I'll just purposely say, you know what, I just don't wanna be in my house anymore right now. And I'll take the kids on a walk around the neighborhood and that just makes us all feel so much better. Or I'll go outside on my back swing with some iced coffee in my hand, no phone, and just being out there even if my kids follow me out there and they just wanna play in the backyard, I, there's something so refreshing about it. So I wanna encourage you, if you're not used to being outside, try to be intentional about getting outdoors more. And that for me is the fifth habit of a happy mom. All right, moms, thanks so much for joining me here today at my table. If you can think of any other things that you feel like could contribute to making you a better version of yourself, leave them in the comments below for others to see. And like always, if you enjoy being here, I wanna encourage you to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you will know every time I upload a new video. If you like what you see here, that's just one small way that you can support the channel. All right, mamas, until next time. See you next week. Bye.